Welcome to Bulgaria, welcome to VMware. It is a great pleasure to have you here. Uh, when we started discussions with Don in January this year to organize such an event, we were extremely excited. So it is great to have you here, guys. Our goal here is to um, demonstrate you guys the full potential of the SDDC. The options you have, rather than saying what you need to do. Um, well, but the problem is, is, customers will also do what's not shown here in, in this. Uh, then I'm going to destroy Alan's entire career and talk about FCIs <laughs> and ability groups. <laughs> On how to solve storage for virtualization. So, basically, we have a range of storage products, all flash arrays, hybrid flash arrays, but what differentiates Tintree from everybody else in the industry is the file system that lives on top of our storage arrays. We were built from the ground up to understand virtual machine workloads. The bulk of the time it takes to actually bring up the virtual machines is the amount of time it takes to actually write the information back into the inventory within vCenter but it's very, very fast. We will be able to say, the, the destination will say, well look, I already know about this bunch of data, these blocks of data, just send me the deltas, just send me what I don't know about. So again, it's really, really efficient in the way that this, this works. So when you are looking at your queue there, and you're talking to Rob, and your storage vendors, they are gonna tell you, you have to adjust, or you may need to adjust your queue there, not just from here, but also from all the way inside the guest, all the way down to your HBA and now your storage array. Enormous performance uh, improvements <coughs> when virtualized in the, net the network. Enablement of a much more efficient way to manage virtual infrastructure will enable our customers in a smooth way to be able to move workloads to the, uh, to the cloud. <coughs> to understand uh, what really customer priorities are. And we are doing a lot of steps into this direction. This event is one step into that direction. And I do routing between networks on the host. That is the ultimate objective here. The whole idea of cross-cloud connectivity, one cloud at any time, right? One and cloud. And by the way, that's exactly where the industry is headed, right? The industry wants a single pane of glass. They want the ability to take a public cloud, treat it as a commodity. But it all builds up into the hybrid cloud model, which means every possible public cloud and every possible container system. Very happy I started that discussion. <laughs> <laughs> so I, I personally believe that running SQL Server on virtualized, virtualized platforms is a really good idea in, in many cases, and particularly VMware, since it's such a rich platform. But after these three days, what I've seen, I will definitely also start uh, uh, suggesting to consolidate even bigger instances and to use it in uh, even more scenarios that uh, I wouldn't have had the, the, the say, confidence. So the time spent here in Sofia was outstanding. All the organization was uh, very, very good. All the content was uh, really outstanding. The people I've met, they provided me with a lot of insight uh, into many, many things. I had uh, maybe some prejudice before, and now I have a much better idea. I think uh, VMware needs to keep innovating. Um, and looking to integrate with new partners. Uh, I like the platform. I have a lot of clients that run off with VMware. So, yeah. Well, almost all of my customers are already using VMware in their production environments. So, normally when I come to customers uh, and they have virtualized their systems, the SQL Server installations, they are already on VMware. Well, all the customers that have a virtualized environment, they all run VMware. Yeah. Uh, I can whole, whole, wholeheartedly recommend uh, VMware as a virtualization platform for SQL Server. In fact, most of my current customers uh, use VMware and some of them also use Tintree uh, for their uh, SQL Server uh, machines and for their overall SQL Server infrastructure. I definitely will recommend VMware for customers who are using SQL Server and not only because now in these last years most of our customers consider um, moving their infrastructure to data centers, local data centers and cloud solutions 
So uh, VMware is the perfect platform to do that. It was really interesting for me to learn about the high availability uh, solutions around, around VMware and uh, how you can move the, the, the virtual machines around, how you can build highly available clusters uh, how it all works with uh, with the storage and st yeah, I think the, the the entire platform is really useful, powerful, and flexible. The reception here has been super friendly. The the staff here the, um, are super knowledgeable, but also super friendly, super helpful. Uh, take a lot of time to to really welcome us here, but also to give us a lot of really good information. Yes, the um, information on how VMware works with uh, soft NUMA or the NUMA architecture. Is something that um, we pay attention to a lot in the physical infrastructure world uh, and to see the connection between uh, the physical host and how to map that through to the um, virtual machines that are running on there uh, that was an extremely interesting it's the whiteboard uh, uh, setting that that was mentioned uh, really interesting uh, information and it's really helpful for potentially large installations that we're going to be uh, wanting to make